Give you a little tutorial on logging into Guard Viewer for the first time. Uh, once you open up the app, it'll bring you to this loading screen, and it can take about 30 seconds to load up. Uh, the next screen you're going to see is the uh, login screen, and so what you're going to see here is uh, username, admin, and then type in the password. The default password is one two three four five six. You can save that password if you want, or you can change it. It's kind of up to you. Um, just click login. When you're logging in for the first time, you're going to need to log into your cloud account. And so what we'll do is we'll go over here to device management. And then up here in the upper left hand corner, we're going to click on cloud device. And then we're going to need to log in, which it looks like I'm already logged in. So let me log out really quick. Uh, you'll see this screen here, this login screen, type login, enter your username and password and if you want again you can have auto login or you can just click login okay and so what you'll see here is uh, on the top you'll see your cloud devices and this one's actually unplugged right now so that's not going to work uh, but on on the bottom right here you'll see any shared devices too and so i have a, a demo that's set up here and and i mean basically that's just how it works is you just want to make sure that you're logged in and that you can see these devices and that they're online. To view your cameras, go over here and click Live View. Uh, down below, you're going to have all of your cameras. So when you open up a camera, you can drag it over and you see how the, uh, the resolution is pretty terrible right now. Um, it will automatically go to whatever resolution is the fastest for your computer. And so what you can do is right click, go to stream type, and then click on main stream, and that'll give you the highest resolution uh, that the camera produces. You may notice a little video lag if your internet is kind of slow, um, but that's really how it works. And so then you can uh, kind of double click and see the, the camera uh, blow up a little bit bigger. And so that's how you log in, that's how you view cameras, if you want to review video footage, click again on this main menu, click playback, and then uh, once again, go over and select one of the cameras. And down here on the bottom, you're gonna see this timeline. Uh, you see these red marks here. That's where there was uh, an event or motion uh, in the screen. And so you can kind of click anywhere on the timeline you want and play back. And so, so it looks like this is uh, April 4th at 9.57 a.m. We can even click a little further down the timeline right here. And so this is, you know, the nighttime uh, on this particular camera. So really uh, pretty easy to navigate. Uh, you can select another day by clicking on the calendar over in the uh, bottom left hand corner. And again, you'll see the timeline here with the red marks and the blue marks. Uh, click anywhere on it you want and you can review the video footage. So again, very easy to use. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you.